Are you ready? You don't sound too excited. What is going on today guys? Welcome back. We are finally back in the garage gonna get some work done We're actually gonna take a brief pause from the second fleece video that will be in tomorrow's video We're actually in the garage with Allie jumping back on her truck. We're already we're already putting her back to work But uh, we're both excited to try and get this truck running and driving as soon as possible That's gonna be a little bit of the focus in between some of the upcoming traveling Which is kind of we got two announcements here So Friday the 28th is number one Shives diesel extravaganza, which we will be at so make sure you guys come find us We'll probably be in the pit area. So make sure you guys come find us We will have all of the new little 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 sneak peek here of all of the new wrench work stuff that is also also dropping Friday the 28th. So Friday the 28th is a big day. It's next Friday. Uh, big wrench works drop. Big giveaway. Tons of just tons and tons of good stuff. But anyway, those are my two announcements. Three announcements. Whatever. How we doing, babe? We're we're cleaning up Allie's new paint matched bumpers. That's kind of where we're gonna start. We're gonna kind of start from the back, work our way to the front, leave off, uh, pick up where we left off with the removing of the Linex bumpers put the paint match stuff on, and then we're gonna kinda work our way to the front here and do a little chrome deleting in the front. So you guys know it's got a Tradesman uh, chrome grill, chrome front bumper. We have paint match stuff for that as well. Also, when the front bumper comes off, it is a perfect opportunity to go ahead and try to mock up and get installed our Banks intercooler. So we're gonna do that when the front bumper is off and then just kinda keep, uh, keep plugging away at this. Uh, one of the most challenging things on this and luckily luckily we have the dually as a cheat sheet uh, some of the miscellaneous stuff that I did not take apart on this truck trying to get it rerouted exactly how it came apart in factory um, always a little difficult when you're not the one that took it apart but shouldn't be a big deal we've got a truck for a treat, uh, cheat sheet out there um, so yeah let's uh, let's get started on the rear bumper how are we doing this morning babe you excited yeah. Pumped. Got some Renegade all-purpose cleaner, spraying that thing down, just wiping off a little bit of the, little bit of the used, a little bit of the used. We're actually putting on older parts than what came on the truck, but that's all right. going over there she's had it she's uh, she's had it with the AC she said she's too cold what'd you put it at 69 what'd you put it at oh man I'm gonna sweat it's 73 outside <laughs> just finished up the rear bumper what do you think about the rear bumper I love it Looks good. So we just got finished up with the rear bumper. Starting to look like a, what's what's the word for Laramie? Lamari. Starting to look like a Lamari. Starting to look like a Lamari back here. Uh, so the paint match bumper looks good. Took us a little while to find the clips that hold in uh, the back little um, license plate lights here, but got those all done. Everything seems to be working. License plate lights are working. Parking sensors are in. All of the wiring behind the bumper is back plugged in. Got the uh, trailer plug for when Allie starts uh, hauling all those big trailers. You know, she got her plug back there. So looks good. We're gonna move on to the front bumper here. What are you, cold? Are you cold? Are you holding yourself because you're cold? 
But uh, we're gonna go ahead and start removing the front bumper here. I've actually never removed a fourth gen front bumper, so I guess we're gonna figure that out and swap the grill as well. So first step up is to remove these, which they do make a nice tool, which I do have. It's in the other garage. This is the fancy tool, so you don't mess up the mess up the trim. Most people just rip this off. After the first time it comes off, it's 74 miles, never been off new. Hasn't had any good resistance. Yeah. Hasn't had anybody mess with it yet. Come on. Let's see what's up. There we go. You're doing great. Is there a power tool for this? Is there a power tool? What? You can't do it? Oh my goodness. All right. These are kind of long. That's what she said. I mean, by the time you get it up, I'll be done, but. Day two, she already wants power <laughs> tools. Day two, she already wants power tools. I think tools. I get professional tools now. Oh my gosh, you're upgraded here. Here you go. Careful. It's like going the right way. It's going the right way. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Look at you go. Faster. Look at you go with look at you go with the power tools. The outside ones are coarser. Oh, that's dangerous. Eh, live life on the edge. <laughs> here. Yank. Here. Oh, I'll, you want to yank? I'll I'll do this just cuz it's kind of a it's kind of a pain. This is a really eh design. Bye-bye, Chrome. Bye-bye, Chrome! Who wants a Chrome girl? Come get it. This is all of the uh, hardware that came with the truck. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, so between the front bumper, the intercooler, that's pretty much what all this is. So we're kind of just in the middle of putting the front little spoiler on, which is just held on by these clips. So. We're gonna do that and then this gets hardware from behind, which should be over there. And then we're almost ready to put the front bumper on. So we took all the brackets off of the uh, tradesman bumper, pretty much bolted right on to 
the uh, the pink match Laramie bumper, and then these are the cutouts for the fog lights. Allie actually swapped. These actually were the factory lights off of my dually, seeing that we switched to the Morimoto. So all we really have to do is get some hardware. Here's upset. Uh, yeah, probably the wrong side anyway. But you get the point. Like they fit right it. They fit right inside here. And uh, we actually, I think, have the factory uh, harness for it too. I think there is a little bit more, um, we might have to switch the internal switch and then do some programming on the truck to get the fog lights to kind of function like OEM. Uh, the other thing is we don't have front parking sensors yet, but we do have like the, we have the cups, but it'll still be way better than what it was. So before we the before the front bumper gets put on we got to put the intercooler on but this is almost done I don't think they want the plow to come on You know I think they make power tools for this right Getting it. It's just a little catch up here, a little recap action. Uh, we are just getting ready to start uh, mounting up the intercooler here. I believe I have found everything in the truck that we are going to need. Again, it's just one of those things where taking a little bit longer just to kind of locate everything. Um, got the mounts laid out. I believe with, again, if I didn't have my truck to look off of or have done this job before, may be a little bit more difficult, but we've got our Banks intercooler here laid out. We do need to attach the rear shroud and the front shroud. And again, when I did this on my dually out out there uh, we actually didn't take the front bumper off so I'm not sure if I can get away with doing this a little bit easier with the front bumper off I might be able to actually mount the brackets put that in there and do everything after the fact I know a lot of people have said doing it without the front bumper is actually easier than trying to sneak everything in there so that's what we're gonna do Allie actually had to run inside <clears throat> her family is coming for a couple days so she's inside taking care of that we will be doing some work on Allie's truck with or without her help, uh, you know, a little bit here and there. I, that made zero sense now that I'm like, so she's not gonna be able to be out here for every single little thing while I love it when she's out here. I love that she's getting involved um, and she wants to be as much as possible. There are some things that she has to take care of from day to day that might prevent her from doing every single little thing on the truck. So just keep that in mind, um, but here we go. We have got, oh, by the way, this, Perfect brand new condition front bumper and the grill are going to be for sale. If you guys want them, if you need them, hit me up, shoot me an offer, email, Instagram. Also, this stuff over here, I'm not sure if anybody needs that, but if you need that, let me know too because that's obviously not going back on. But anyway, we've got the Banks intercooler. We're going to start mocking this stuff up, get this beefy unit in there. We have a Banks intercooler on the dually as well. Nothing but the best. A little plug action here. If you guys need anything from Banks, of course, Renegade Banks, Evil Fab, Fleece, all of their discount codes in the description below if you guys need any of that. Anyway, we got the paint match grill. We, the only thing that I really like, I don't want to go run out and go get hardware, but I really want to put those fog lights in. So anyway. Match grill coming through.
everything I do. I can't. Why? Is it me? I don't know. I'm not sure. <laughs> Just be careful, don't scratch the Okay. It, these things are kind of a pain in the ass, so it's not just you. I've just never a lot seen, of times, I've if, never you, seen you struggle so if, you, if you break it, like, break it free. Okay, and then before you spin it all the way out, just give it a little, just give it a little shake like that, and then it'll be free. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the tricks of the trick. <laughs> Got her there? No. Got all lug nuts off, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're trying to pick you're trying to pick it up. I'm trying to do both, honey. I'm trying to pull it. Drag it off. These are oversized. Those are those are kind of heavy. Uh just off to the side. Guys, by the way, number one ask questions of all time. We are not going to sell the stock wheels. We are hanging on to the stock wheels. Well, just, just throw, roll them over. Those won't stay as flat as these other ones will. Uh, we're gonna have to grab grab some uh, needle nose pliers or some dike. While I hate keyed lug nuts, like look at, these are like some black chrome, like these, these are, if anyone really want, if you want top quality lug nuts, like Magard lug nuts, I've never even seen these before. These so are, they are, these are, yeah, these are really nice lug nuts. So you just can't lose that thing? The key, yeah, I mean obviously the key is important. I hate keyed lug nuts, but. The finish on these and the fact that this part of the lug nut spins while it's tightening is really nice. Can you go grab one of the caps? Yeah. One of the caps from over there. Right, guys, are you ready to see the truck with all of the wheels and tires on? Man, it just gives it a whole nother look. Like, let me let me back up before we go, before I show you guys. It uh, It looks so good. Oh, man. Like... What a difference just some wheels and tires make. Like, it already looks a million times different. Uh, we did, like I said, rear bumper is done. Got some wheels and tires on it. I don't know. Again, I, I really don't think these wheels and tires are going to stay. I think we will uh, sell them if you guys are interested in them. Again, they're brand new specialties with brand new Toyos. Uh, I don't even know what these things retail for, but we're probably going to be somewhere right around there. Um, but anyway, look, and again, we didn't actually, I didn't get a chance to adjust uh, the front bumper up. The way they have it with the intercooler is really makes it a pain uh, to, a, to tighten that front bumper up. So anyway, looking oh gosh i'm like i'm i don't know i'm in love with every project that we have but this truck specifically uh i just really 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 like um so we're gonna get Allie out here she had to run inside uh but we got the fog we got temporary te when i when i say temporary temporary fog light hardware as in i just threw some zip ties in there to kind of just hold them up so you guys could kind of get like a general look of uh the front end now kind of in there Again, uh, we need to get front end hard or fog light hardware. We need to adjust and move up the front bumper and get some parking sensors in there. Uh, but man, this thing, I, I don't even know if I really want to do anything with the, with the suspension height on it. Like it, it looks aggressive right now. I really just kind of want to, 
almost just lower the back down and kind of keep it like this for a little while. It looks really, really good. Uh, paint match front end looks amazing. Uh, we do have we do have the factory Laramie projectors right in this box right here. Uh, here we go. I didn't put them in because number one, I don't have the conversion harness and number two, I think we're gonna send those off to get built uh, for Allie. I think it would be really, really cool to kind of do something different um, before we go ahead and swap them in here. So again, the, the thing being so dirty, just this thing needs, we need, to, we need to get this thing running, we need to get this thing outside, we need to wash it, polish it up. Man, oh man, does it just look it is looking good. Got that Banks intercooler kind of hiding in there. So people, you know, when 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 Allie starts racing people, they're gonna they're gonna know a little. They're gonna know a little some sums up with that big front mount. But just a little little poke in the front. All right, let's go ahead. And let's drag Allie out here, see what she thinks. Looking at it for the first time with uh, with all the wheels and tires on it, the way it's sitting right now. Man, I love it. Man, I love it. I love this thing. I cannot wait. Cannot wait to keep going. Next up, next up is getting it running. We're waiting on a couple pieces, and that's kind of why we went to doing the cosmetic stuff, number one, because it's it was literally laying in the shop out of in, in the way, so I wanted to get out of the way. Uh, so anything that goes back on the truck actually frees up more space. So the more stuff we throw on it, the better the space thing gets. So wanted to get the cosmetic stuff knocked out because it was also, when you paint stuff, you wanna get it on the truck as soon as possible because the more it lays around, gets moved, gets shuffled around, the likely it is to kinda not stay perfect and get scratched. What'd you, what you think, girl? I love it. What'd you think of the whip? I love it. You like it? Yeah, is it, is it like, it looks like it's taller. No, I think it actually went lower. Really? Oh. I think it actually looks lower in the front. I kind of like the way it's sitting, except for maybe yeah. maybe bring the rear down just a little bit. I really don't. Sitting? What? I like it. Yeah, I think it looks great. Yeah, these look cool. You ready to ready to rip this thing? You ready to race people? Let's go. Man, it looks. I I really yeah, like, I like it. it. I don't necessarily really want to keep the wheels. I want to get something a little bit different. You're just saying you want to keep them because they're here and we didn't really do anything with them, but. Oh, it gives it a whole nother look with it's the stock like so, ones. Again, it's like so hard to tell like a difference when like this is how it looks like it should have been, like with the bumpers. Yeah. Like it looks awesome, but like. Yeah, this is like a, this is like a one day transformation. It should have looked like this, like maybe from the factory. Like yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. you're like, what is it? It just looks like another stock paint match truck, but like. If you, I mean, you guys saw it beforehand, like it just looks like it should have been this way. Looks 10 times yeah. better, but it looks like it should have just been this way. But yeah, like the front bumper looks like just like yeah, take a look at the front bumper and the grill all together on there. Babe, why are you, you got your hands on your hips like. <laughs> yeah. Wait till we get the, wait till we get the good headlights in there. Mmm. 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 Yeah. I did tell them we had zip ties in there holding the fog lights up. Just, you know, got to gotta, gotta see what it looks like. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get that cover. Yep. Yeah, no, it looks awesome, though. Babe, great job. Day two. Don't leave me hanging. Working on the truck. Boom. We did it together. I love it. You, you learned how to, you know, use the impact gun correctly. The good impact gun. The good impact <laughs> <laughs> No, both things were on there, like... Super tight. Yeah, they Those were. Factory ones. Air gun. All right, guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Day two, working on Allie's truck. Again, just trying to get some of the cosmetic stuff knocked out. Uh, I think in the next day or two, we're going to be jumping back on this, kind of buttoning up some stuff that was unfinished from the last, uh, the previous owner. The fuel tank was out it. Uh, fuel tank was out of it. Can't speak. Uh, it's got a fleece power flow lift pump in there um, and then you guys saw when we unboxed all the video all the and when we unboxed all the wow are you sure you don't want to you sure you don't want to finish this out <laughs> um, when we unboxed all of that stuff uh, there was a kit in there to uh, do something different with the stock 
uh, fuel filter housing. We actually, when we went to fleece, have some parts to do that uh, completely 100% uh, from the tank back to up here uh, from the guys at fleece. So we're going to be jumping on that. And then as soon as some other parts from our guys at banks come in, like the engine intake and the intake elbow, really we're close to firing this thing up. So that's going to be next on the list before you know it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Any, any, uh, you never, you never have any final words. I know, because I'm just pumped, so it's like, yeah. Uh, but anyway, guys, Friday the 28th, uh, coming up very soon. Big wrench works drop, Shides diesel, diesel extravaganza, and then also after Shides, uh, we'll be at Daytona. So, two events, back to back, a lot of traveling going on. We'll have all of the new clothing, um, hats, shirts, banners, everything that you guys have been asking for, uh, brand new, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Anyway, that's it. Hit the like button for a leave, subscribe if you have not already. See you on the next one.